Previously on ASD Halan, people had begun waking up in their ruined tower. It was just like the one found in Forzana years ago, but it seemed to be bringing in people from lands like Forzana and Ilistana, along with new heroes. The Byzantine Emperor, Intent Rex, woke up in the tower, along with a friend who had betrayed him, Mill. Mill ran, but Rex would not let him go, placing a bounty on his head. He went and began building a city, Ankara. It was the capital of his new empire, the Ottoman Empire. Mill brought his people into hiding, traveling the land as nomads, constantly being hunted by the Ottoman agents. The king of Cascadia, a new kingdom, sent help and started pressuring the Ottomans to stop, but the Ottomans did not stand down. Meanwhile, a new hero had awoken in the tower, Tepano traveled with his new allies far away from the tower. They were wise in the ways of Redstone, and understood the trick the strange machines seen in nations past. They founded the Redstone Republic. Now, the world's tensions are high, a spark away from a total war breaking out. Though nomads had temporarily settled in the desert, but an Ottoman scout had picked up on their tracks. He located their encampment, and then, while they were hunting, attacked it, destroying the camp and stealing their goods. He left behind a sign and a flag of the Ottomans. When Mil, the nomad king, returned and found his camp in ruins, he knew he had to leave and get as far away as possible. The land of Eistihlan was not safe for him. So instead of retaliating, they just disappeared, like ghosts. The Ottomans could not find them and turned their attention on Cascadia, where they thought the nomads would be hiding. Cascadia denied this, but the Ottomans did not relent. A new nation, Habiton, then started to put their own pressure on the Ottomans to stop them from hunting the nomads. Then Glass appeared. He pointed them towards the mountains. He whispered about secrets hidden in the caves. The Ottomans and Hobbits entered a shaky truce and traveled the mountains to find this ruin. They did locate what it seemed to be an old, battered temple, hidden in the mountain face. Inside these ruins were strange passages, long corridors, twisting tunnels. It was a maze. Then Mill arrived. He arrived soon before the Alliance was meant to enter the maze. The Ottomans saw this and went into a rage. They blamed the Cascadian Hobbit Alliance for sheltering Mill. All heck broke loose. They fled into the dark maze, and soon you couldn't tell from friend from foe. They fought each other in the maze, none sought to kill out of chance that they were a friend. Eric, king of the hobbits, who was a strong swordsman, began to cut down anyone he crossed as he went deeper into the maze. Mill also fought his way through the maze. He believed that the maze held the answers to the questions that remained unanswered in Elistana. Soon it was just he and Eric, left unwounded. They slowly navigated the maze towards each other, then finally entered a bloody fight. Neither were close allies, but they believed the other was an enemy. Then Mill emerged, victorious. With a flash of light, the maze disappeared. There in the room's entrance, but a new room had appeared. There was a chest of armor of Teladon, the gods of weapons and dragons, and the chest was a book, The Last Stand of Teladon. The book told a great story between gods, Raphae and Teladon. Raphae was a traitor to Teladon, and he needed vengeance. He led a great army of phantom dragons and their riders to Raffae's Sky Fortress. Raffae's army of winged soldiers met them in the air, stopping their advance on the Sky Fortress. Teladon's phantom dragons quickly pushed through the ranks of the winged soldiers, easily. Then, with the wings of the golden light, Raffae appeared and she decimated the dragons. Teladon charged to meet her in battle. Her thunder and lightning raged as she fought the warrior god. Some say that the battle between gods took weeks, but by the end, Raphae, Queen of the Sky, stood triumphant over Teladon. She had won the battle. Mill was named the champion of Teladon, but he soon fled. The Ottomans would soon recover. The book had left him with more questions. Who are these gods? But that's not the issue now. The Ottomans were angry. They turned to Cascadia, confident that they would find the nomads there. They declared war on the Cascadians. The Cascadians were completely unprepared. 
The Ottomans launched an attack and kidnapped the king of Cascadia, Ice, and they executed him. Then they marched to the fort of Cascadia. They believed it would be undefended, but then the fort had one defender, Logan, the previous emperor of Rome. All the way back in Forzana, Rex's old emperor stood defending the castle. He fought hard, trying to push the Ottomans out, but he was too outnumbered. Logan died on the field, his last stand in vain. Cascadia was annexed by the Ottoman Empire. The Red Sun Republic condemned the Ottomans. While the Emperor and the Ottoman generals were on a visit to Serbia, a village they invaded on day one of the New World, the Republic attacked. Three of the Ottomans, including the Emperor, were left gravely wounded, but basic logic managed to hide from the, from the Republic. They searched and chased him, and shot him, but they could not reach him, and finally, after holding off long enough, the Ottoman reinforcements would arrive. The Republic fled, but with that, the search of the nomads had ended. The war of the Empire and Nomad King with it. Mill and his nomads had disappeared. New nations began to appear. Lamenia, who built the city of Planania. The anime cult, who quickly grew to stand beside the Ottomans. They quickly made their stand on Pais de Hlong establishing an alliance between themselves, the Wheel. The Ottoman Empire then began to manipulate the king of TAC, Rivet. He pushed them to going to war against the hobbits. Rivet listened, and he launched an invasion of Hobbiton. The battle was quick and bloody. They slaughtered the hobbits. King Eric was beheaded. Hobbiton went into the cult's hands. The Ottoman Empire is rising, bent on world domination. The Emperor sits upon his throne, made of bones as the nations around him submit to his will. The nomads had disappeared. Heroes of old have fallen. The Red Sun Republic has isolated themselves on ASD Halon. But the war was over.